Today, I'm gonna to use these so cute little chocolate brownie bites. There's eight to a package. And I'm going to put this on the bottom of my dish. And why I like these little brownie bites is because you don't have to cut, you don't have to tear. They fit perfectly. I'm gonna move this over here. And I have three cups of milk. You can use whole milk, skim milk, whatever you want. And I'm going to use a vanilla Jello pudding mix. I'm gonna put that in. And I'm going to get this whipped up. I'm gonna do it by hand. So I can kind of see what the texture is and just keep going. And then sometimes it takes a long time, but I think it's worth it. Just kind of mix, stir, and try to get that as thick as possible before we put over our brownies and our cherries and our whipped cream. It's gonna be so delicious. And let's keep stirring that up. So we're going to add a cup of the whipped topping to our vanilla pudding. And this is just gonna give it a richness and such a delicious flavor throughout our trifle. And I'm gonna mix that in, look at that. Like I said, you can use chocolate pudding, you don't have to use vanilla. You could even use cheesecake if you want, but I am going with the vanilla today and look at that. It's so good, I wanna kinda of make it like a pudding, but also just a nice glaze on top of our brownies. Now that we have our pudding and a cup of whipped cream, I'm gonna pour this over our mini brownies. And if you wanna make brownies, you can. <laughs> but since we're all so busy, I don't think, I think this is the easier way to go. Look at that. Oh, delicious. And our next level of goodness is going to be, I have two cans of this cherry pie filling. It's like a pie filling. So that's what we use. And with that, I'm gonna ladle it in and we're gonna get that around the edges. Oh my gosh. Does anybody know where the black forest came in and why it became a dessert? We were talking about that today. Like why is it called Black why Forest? Why is it called Black Forest? Does anybody know? If you know, put a message down below. I just know it's goodness and I love cherries and chocolate. So we're gonna do that. Next level, gonna be a little more whipped cream. And we're gonna put that, and I'm not even gonna put it in a bowl, I'm just gonna dip it out of here because this is to what you like, your, how much you wanna use. Look at that. If you could smell this, who doesn't like chocolate and cherries? One of my favorite things. So we're gonna mush that on the side because your goal is to let people see when you serve this the side of your dish. Now don't worry if it's a little messy, it doesn't matter because we're gonna keep adding our flavors of goodness. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of whip that around and it doesn't matter if it's perfect right now because we're gonna put another layer of our brownies. Next ingredient, I'm gonna use a dark chocolate. You can use milk, but I like the dark. It goes with our black forest theme of that rich dark chocolate. I'm gonna break this off and then I'm gonna use my trusty little scraper here. Maybe you have one. If you don't, you can use a grater or you don't have to use it. Is that like a zester? Yeah, it's a little, you can use it for lemon, lime, but I'm gonna use it for chocolate today because look at that. And it's so pretty. It just adds a little extra touch again to the trifle. And we want a lot of that dark chocolate flavor. Okay, just come down. Next, I'm gonna add more brownies. And you just keep layering. We're gonna add that and do our brownies. And these mini bites are so cute. So what do we have? We have three, six, okay. We're gonna do a couple more. Oh, okay, there we go. Next, we're gonna go back to our pudding. 
We're gonna dump that. And we're gonna do that. Look at this. Oh, if you love chocolate and cherries, you're gonna love this. Oh, I do. I'm a huge fan of this. I know, and cherries, I don't know. Cherries are such a thing this year. I don't know. A lot of people are making a lot of desserts, like I have, with the cherries. I'm kind of hooked. And these are canned. If you have fresh cherries, you could do that. You could add. But this is so easy, and I think it just melts together, and it's so delicious. We're we'll just keep building and building. There you go. There's that. And we're going to go back to our whipped cream. And we're going to get that in there. And we're going to smush that around the edges for our black forest trifle. Look at this. You want to keep it going, get it in the edges, smooth it all out. Mm, that looks so good. It's already getting, and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you get a little cherry on the whipped cream, it is okay. It's just all gonna be smushed together. Look at that. And then I'm gonna go back to my little crater here. And you could even do chocolate curls. I've done that before. But today I wanted to keep it a little bit more about the trifle and this is just a nice added touch. You can really smell the dark That's, chocolate. I, can't you? I love that. And I love milk chocolate, but I think for this, it's perfect. Okay, we're going to do one more little round of these little bites. And it, this is easy because you don't have to bake and you don't have to do anything. Just go to your store and buy them in a box. These were tiny, but I did that on purpose. I'm going to do that. And we're going to put one more there. Look at that. And just kind of smoosh this around because this is going to suck up all that moisture of the pudding and the whipped cream and the cherry. Oh, yummy. Okay. I'm going to do this. And we're going to put that around the edge. I want everybody to see the color. Look at that as you go around. That is what's fun about trifles. Everybody can see what they're biting into when you sit at the table or you're at a party and you put this on the table. It's going to be a crowd pleaser. But look how you can see every level of fun goodness. It doesn't have to be perfect again because it's going to, believe me, it's going to be gone before you can think about it. If you serve this at your next party family event, Okay, I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, this thing is gone. <laughs> it's going to... Okay, we're going back to another layer of our pudding. Remember, we have pudding, and we added a cup of the Cool Whip or the whip topping, whatever you're using. Or if you want to do your own whipped cream, I'm just going to actually put that all over, and we're going to finish that top. Look at that. <laughs> I'm excited. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Goodness, it's so creamy. Okay, now we're gonna finish this off. We're gonna keep adding. And don't skimp on the whipped cream at the top. And some people like to pipe the top with a bag. I could have done that today, maybe next time. And we're just gonna keep putting that in. Look at that. I'm excited. It's so pretty. This is great. It's kind of making its own fluffy. We don't need a bag. But this would be delicious with real whipped cream. Maybe we'll try that next time. But look at this. You know, Cool Whip is so easy. Or these whipped toppings. Whatever you can find at the grocery store. Whatever you have. Remember, it's a whole tub. You're going to go through that. Because look at You're going to make like little clouds. And you're going to come to the end and you're going to impress all your guests. Look at that. <laughs> I'm impressed. And it really smells good. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to do a little shaving. 
How fun is this? This is great. <laughs> Isn't this so fun? And you know what? I'm getting it all over the table, but it doesn't matter because it's chocolate, right? And look at that. And I'm going to go a little heavy because it is the last of our beautiful trifle of this. We're going to keep on going. Oh, it's so pretty and cute. And then I'm going to add, do you think that's enough? Let's try it. I think it is. So pretty. We are going to go. Remember, I like to add what's in my salads, what's on top. That way everybody knows, right? There's no guessing with this. And we're gonna put that in the middle and we're just gonna keep kind of building. I said, you don't have to. I like to make things kind of fancy and nice and just a little extra touch. And we're gonna do one more round of the chocolate. And for an extra special touch, I'm gonna add a cherry cordial and dark chocolate. If you're like me, this is an old school candy that everybody loves. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fill that top and inside is a cherry. And look at that, making it special. And now that we finished our beautiful Black Forest trifle, we added our cherry on top. I'm gonna chill this for about 60 minutes in the fridge. Look at that. Okay, it's chilled for an hour and look at that. Isn't that, that gorgeous? That looks phenomenal. Oh, I can't wait to bite into this. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And when you come out with this and serve this at your party, it's going to be amazing. And let's dig in. We're going to go way down in there. Whoa. Oh, look oh, wow. at that. We're going to put that there. And I'm going to grab a little bit more. And let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at the chocolate. I got the little brownie bites. 